Mike Stoops has gone to Alabama as an analyst, and we're going to talk about it, and all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, we're going to talk about Mike Stoops joining Alabama as an analyst underneath Lord Nick Saban becoming the newest. Nick Saban coaching intern. My goodness. All right. So number one, for all the folks, you know what? Let's just get into this teaching lesson that I have that I was going to put toward the end of the video, but I think we need to start with it right now because I have come up with some charts for you to help outline how you should think about Mike Stoops to Alabama. Here we have well-wishers of Mike Stoops to Alabama, I just handed held up a white sh piece of paper on, yeah, on the interwebs. Probably not the best idea. But it says, good luck, Mikey, at Alabama with OU's offense. And you got all the people that are in there, right? And all the people that make a lot of sense there. Uh, you know, folks that either didn't watch the defense last year or for the last five years saying, hey, Mikey, we want you to go be a better coach, which is not really what that's about. Mike knows from his X's and O's, and I'll get into that. And then with this next sheet, we got Kick Rocks Austin Kendall at West Virginia with OU's offense, right? So you got a couple folks in there. You got Mike Stoops going to Alabama with OU's offense. You got Austin Kendall going to uh, West Virginia with OU's offense. And both of those people make up one Venn diagram, right? On one side, you got the Mike Stoops well-wishers. On the other hand, you got the Austin Kendall haters. And it is a perfect circle of the same people who would really go after a grad transfer, transferring in conference, and not go after Mike Stoops to say, hey, I like Mikey. I want him to win with. First of all, Austin Kendall going to West Virginia, you're going to say that's in conference. We're guaranteed to play West Virginia. Okay, you don't think that Oklahoma's going to play Alabama in a college football playoff if they make it back again? Really? Do you really think that? Because if you do, you're a putz, and I can't help you. Because only a putz would think that Mike Stoops wouldn't tell Nick Saban what he knows about Lincoln Riley's offense. The same as Austin Kendall is going to tell Neil Brown about Lincoln Riley's offense. But as with all things, it doesn't matter if you know what they're running if you can't stop it. Right? And it's not as if Mike Stoops is going to be able to tell Pete Golding and Tosh LePoy something they don't already know. Because if you remember just a month ago, they handed OU its head at the Orange Bowl. I don't know about you, but I remember being down 28 to 0, and Mike Stoops or no Mike Stoops, they were still going to do that. And that's getting into an entirely different conversation, right? So, first, there's that. Now, there is this is purely a PR move, man. You're going to Alabama to try to retool your image because the book is out on you as a bad defensive coordinator. Now, Mike Stoops knows from X's and O's. The man knows from schematics and defense. What he does not seem to still get is that he didn't get fired because he doesn't know football. He got fired because he lost the locker room. And that's what this is about at the end of the day. You have to hold the locker room. The kids have to believe in you. They have to believe in the scheme. If they don't believe in the scheme, it doesn't matter if your scheme is any good. Alex Grinch is going to face that right now. He's going to have to build the kids up and then maybe tear them down. But first, you got to win the room. Because if they don't trust you, they're not going to play for you. Especially knowing you make more than a million dollars to coach defense and they get what? A scholarship? Now, you've heard my scholarship rant on this, but it boils down to just give them the money if you think the scholarship is worth so much. And that's coming from a guy who's getting a PhD in English. I don't think the college is all that it's cracked up to be. There's plenty of folks that are watching this channel right now that make a decent living without a college degree, and getting one for free or not is not going to change that. Now, there's some other things to take into account here. Like, what is Mike Stoops going to be doing at Alabama? Analyst? Okay, you're saying that he couldn't get a job somewhere else as a defensive coordinator? Please! You don't think that he could have taken the La Tech job that Bob Diaco just took as an analyst at OU? 
He could have. Same thing with the opening to Marshall. There's been a bunch of defensive coordinator openings here for which Mike Stoops could have aggressively pursued them and probably got the job based on the fact that he's made college football playoffs in the last two years and has won the last four, if you want to count last year, right? And I do. Big 12 championships. It's like the Josh Gordon thing. Mike Stoops gets a ring because he coached half the season, even though he got fired after OU Texas. He still gets credit for putting together the team. He still gets credit for the recruits. He still gets credit for the W's and the L's. And he gets a lot of credit for what he left behind, right? So we know that OU can recruit defensively. What we didn't know or didn't see is that they could develop guys into the kind of defensive players that win championships at the highest level of college football. So don't tell me that Bob Diaco is a better coordinator than Mike Stoops. I think they're about even at this point, man. They got the same amount of prestige. And for one guy to say that he wants to call plays and another guy to say that I want to hold a clipboard, that's a personal decision and it's a remake your image decision. And that's what Nick Saban's been doing for these guys. And I don't blame him. That is how you cultivate talent. That is how you keep it coming back. And that is how you continue to recruit like all heck. You say, look at Mike's staff. Look at the guys that want to come work for me. And there's a lot. And this is kind of becoming part and parcel of the course. Like Steve Sarkeesian, Lane Kiffin, Butch Jones, Brett Bielema. We can keep going with this. I, although Brett Bielema, I don't think he ever got to Alabama. I think he went straight to New England. Mike Luxley. See, didn't take me that long. That's what I'm saying, man. You could, you could really start to look at this stuff and be cynical. And why wouldn't you be? There's too much money not to be cynical. There's too much money not to just think that this is all about a maneuver to try to make people forget that you once had supreme talent at your disposal, and what'd you get? You got dunked on for 40 points a game. That's what you got. You got 48 put up on you by a Texas team that, frankly, shouldn't be putting up 48 on anybody. That's 10 wins or less because they weren't that good. Come on, man. Like, I, I don't understand how folks can really be like, hey— I wish Mike Stoops well at Alabama. I mean, for what? It's a business decision. You can wish Mike Stoops well, but you can't wish Austin Kendall well? Come on now. Pull your head out. You understand how this works. Austin Kendall got a raw deal. Austin Kendall never got to start the offense underneath him. Look, he starts the game at Baylor. Is that Baylor game game plan for him? No. He sat because Kyler was in trouble. That is not the same thing. And what if he was Jalen Hurts? What if he had an opportunity to go to Alabama and start as a freshman? Would he be good? We don't know. That's kind of the point here. We know that Mike Stoops got every opportunity to do this because he talked about following the Rose Bowl. Maybe I need to be an analyst in Georgia or Alabama because I need to learn to teach again. I'm sorry. Why didn't you just do that? Why did you waste everybody's time with six games this year when we could have been way ahead on the defense. Why? Because of money. That's why. You don't... You, he wasted our time so that he could do the thing that he was going to do last year. That's what you should be so upset about. Austin Kendall didn't waste your time. He said, hey, I'm just going to dip. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to waste any more of your time or mine. I'm going to go to a place where it works for me. And as far as the cynical and comical Jalen Hurts for Mike Stoops trade if that's the way you want to see this then I submit to you that Alabama got fleeced worse than Prince Hakeem when he first landed in Queens this is the Jimmy Butler Sixers trade right because sight unseen Jalen Hurts at Oklahoma is already a better trade because you got a guy well we go into a 26 and 2 you know the national championships you know all that stuff I submit to you what was the last national championship game that Mike Stoops played in? Coached in, right? I think that Jalen Hurts has the edge there. And I would think that Oklahoma continues to have the edge there. Fine. You know, I, I if, if you want to look at Mike Stoops and say, good luck to you, I'm not going to stop you. But I'm also going to call you out every single time you want to tell me that a kid knew the rules and he shouldn't have transferred. I'm going to call you out every time you want to tell me that the kids get a scholarship. I'm going to call you out and tell you that the money matters. Because if you were getting paid a million dollars to do your job, people would call you out on it too if you were doing a bad job. All of it matters. All right, that's it for me.
Deuces.